God has come to help his people. I have been crowned with honor and glory, mercy, grace, inheritance. I have been ground, crowned with spirit, blessing, and faith. I have many crowns. I may be a little lower than the angels, but they are subject to and judged by me. My dominion is an everlasting dominion. I want to get this done for God. This kingdom will never be destroyed. All authority in heaven and earth is given to me. I want my children back, so does God. I will bring the children to the fathers, God and the fathers of old. I know God has given me all authority. I have enough authority to defeat Satan. I have sinned, but by God's mercy, there is no death for me. God has redeemed my soul from hell's fire. I will live to enjoy the light. I am here to deliver you from death. You will be kept alive from the coming famine. God has delivered you and me from death. I serve God without fear. God will rescue us from the hand of the enemy. I will serve God in holiness and righteousness for all my days. God disciplines us so we can share in His holiness. Jesus gives life, people a life worth living. Jesus raises us up from being dead in sins. You obtained life through Jesus' name. Jesus is the Christ, Messiah, and Son of God. Jesus resurrects the inner man, his mind and spirit. The root cause of despair is dead faith. 
Loneliness is an unfulfilled longing for God. Jesus will not cast you out if you come humbly. Jesus will give you rest for your soul. Believe in Jesus and not live in darkness. God is pouring out His Spirit on all flesh. God's Spirit causes guilt shame and condemns after sin. The Holy Spirit awakens the heart to God's love. No person is too evil to save. Satan will come after you like a flood. Jesus is your friend and he cares for you. Cast all your cares on Jesus. Jesus came to save that which is lost. Call upon Jesus to help. The yoke of Jesus is easy and the burden is light. Jesus will bear our labors and burdens. Jesus will give us rest. Believe that Jesus can save you. Do not deny me or I'll deny you. I'm not saying God sinned, I'm just pondering. I haven't thought or written anything God didn't reveal to me. If we are in His image, then we should have some of the same traits. I'm sure evil has tried to tempt God. Satan has tried to accuse us in front of God. Do not let Satan deceive you. This is true. Do not let Satan make you think you're not worthy. The cross sets us free from Satan's power. Ask Jesus to take over your life. 